it was always just there. Like every time you'd go out, I'd have to have that routine in the morning, shower, still do all of the wax to try and get it as perfect looking as possible. Kind of living the same day over and over on repeat and living with this hair, going outside, wearing caps all the time. And I just went into the bathroom and was like, just going to do it. If we go back all the way to when I was like nine years old to give a bit of context behind it. Like I just remember one day, you know, I was doing my hair for school, got all the wax in. I was in the mirror and then I said to myself in the mirror and I was that young and I was like, you know, you'd be nothing without your hair. Your hair is everything. Wow. And I really remember just sitting in, like, just saying that to myself. Ever since then, I've always been like, you know, this is like the, my most valuable asset. You know, I'm nothing without this. Kind of fast forward, I'm 16 years old. I'd just seen the latest James Bond movie at the time. I watched that and I was like, you know what? I want that haircut. I want to look like Daniel Craig. Um, my mum was a hairdresser at the time and I just asked her, I was like, mum, can you just give me that Daniel Craig look? And so she just basically just buzzed it off. And then that's when I kind of the problems began because I'd never sort of had it buzzed off before. It was always kind of long. But when she'd buzzed it off and at, and at the time I didn't even you know know what a receding hairline was. Get into school and everyone's like, oh, you got receding hairline. I was like, excuse me? And everyone was saying it to me. And I was like, okay. And I started like looking it up and then looking at, you know, male pattern baldness and going into that rabbit hole. And that's where the sort of the obsession started and the sort of self-consciousness, the anxiety right. going out. And I would constantly worry about it. We we're at like a pre-drink, 17 years old. And it was like one of those drinking games. And it was like, oh, who's most likely to do this? Who has this? And then something came up and it was like, who has the worst hair? Once the countdown went down, everyone pointed at me and I was like, oh, Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Tiny little things like that just kind of get to you. I kind of had held on to those like, comments throughout my life yeah. and it's always just being there in the background, like affecting me. Back then, in that moment in time, I would all I could be thinking about is, you know, how bad it looks. So, you know, it's going back and that's all you can focus on is just the mm. the negatives of kind of balding, really. So like anything I did, it would just be, oh, you know, spend 20 minutes, half an hour, my hair, make sure it all looks good. Because you have that feeling that it isn't good because of these comments and the fact that it's slowly uh, receding and balding. Yeah. You try to spend more time fixing it and making it look better, which again leads into sort of that, uh, I guess the word is like obsession or just yeah, just self-consciousness really. After that moment, yeah, just keeping it as kind of like that medium length. I didn't want to really go that short ever again. I started to see actually that it was getting worse and there's these actually gaps, you know, coming from the crown now, kind of meeting in the middle. And I basically just had this little island and I could see that in like kind of different thicknesses and densities of the hair. And I was just like, oh God, no, it is. I thought it was, you know, kind of settled and maybe mm. actually because my granddad has quite a nice head of hair. Right. Maybe I'm trying to pick his genes rather than uh, on my dad's side. But then that kind of kind of took me back into reality and I was actually yeah it's it is following that pattern it is going to get worse kind of after that I kind of accepted it you know before I'm 30 I'm, I'm gonna have to get rid of it all um and just accept it it sounds like you always in the back of your mind had the idea that you could kind of accept it at some point where did that come from for you do you think just from the fact that my dad has been bald this whole time I, I've just been used to that idea of you know just a bald man you know it's yeah. not too out there seeing things like bald cafe online as well and just seeing those other stories do just help it was always just there like every time you'd go out um I'd, I'd have to have that routine in the morning shower still do all of the wax to try and get it as perfect looking as possible if i don't have a shower i have to go out wearing a hat with friends and family i think there's an element they they know you know it's not ideal and i'd be self-conscious about it but i'd not actually had those conversations about how much they affects me i'm self-conscious all the time going out and everything like that i'd never really kind of had those conversations i started a new job recently as well looking at myself uh in like the little teams preview uh from my webcam and just seeing like the scalp and things like that just not looking nice hard to concentrate right on work that's like the thing when you keep yeah exactly that i wanted to like give you know do my best with this new job and i find myself just staring at the corner of the screen like oh 
and I couldn't focus. I just yeah. I'm just thinking all these people in the meeting probably just looking at me thinking like oh oh that you know he's young but his hair's going it just annoyed me i was like why am i worrying so much i should be concentrating instead of looking at my little preview image and worrying about what i look like on a webcam so then i opened up with those like people close to me it's just getting so bad now i I just wanted to tell you guys i'm not happy with it and i think i did mention like i do just want to just be done with it just get it all off talked about having a hair transplant as well but i've kind of just put that to the side and said you know the next step for me just just shave it all off and go from there i said to myself that i was going to plan the day and kind of make it this big event but when it actually sort of came down to it it was completely spontaneous and just i just i don't know what it was it just felt this rush and i was like i'm just going to grab the clippers and i'm just going to do it weirdly coincidental my sister had just got me these clippers and i just have those clippers kind of sitting there kind of just tempting me in just waiting (laughs) to be used yeah um and i guess that was really the moment yeah just having those sort of lying around i think in the background just really helped to kind of get the process underway it's one less thing to think about kind of that was like a kind of sign in a way from the universe to say you know got no excuses now i mentioned to you on instagram about the the barber comment saying that my head got really thin it's hard to style it mm. not sure what you want to do with it but i got home and i said oh, i just can't go back again like it's just getting to that point now it's really starting to thin off like that even the barbers are kind of struggling with it <laughs> guess it just got to that last weekend so it's just me home alone I mentioned about writing out a list of making some changes that i wanted to start becoming more productive again working out kind of just getting out of that rut and the first thing on the list was shave my head because in in my mind that was going to be the catalyst for everything else to follow and if i can't shave my head then i'm not ready to start working on these things and trying to learn new hobbies and all of the other stuff writing down that list and that was always the first thing i'd always kind of check my notes up and it would be like shave head i was kind of just sick of like waiting around and feeling like i'm just kind of living the same day over and over on repeat and living with this hair going outside wearing caps all the time and i just went into the bathroom and was like just gonna do it i did have that rush and that excitement but i have to admit once i did kind of shave the first bit off another feeling kind of took over me of kind of like this is it now like my whole life 27 years i've lived with this hair yeah after that exact moment um that's me accepting it that it's done now and i just composed myself and carried on then that feeling completely transformed into like a sort of feeling of elation and relief and kind of just happiness and from that point i'd kind of got it all off and i felt quite happy about it looking in the mirror and i was actually yeah you know shape my head's quite decent i, I can work with this bit of an emotional roller coaster a roller really cliche, yeah. but it, it was really i kind of took the next step got the um hot water out hot towel shaving foam disposable raisin i just went all the way i just wanted yeah. it to be completely fresh if i'm doing yeah. this today i might go as well all go way. all the way exactly yeah. so it was, it was it's weird i couldn't stop smiling i was like Looking in the mirror, smiling. I started taking selfies, which I don't really do uh, ever. Yeah. And I was kind of like feeling myself a little bit. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's strange. Like that, it, it, the confidence and like the happiness of going through that and then the relief and acceptance. It was a lovely feeling. And ever since then, I've I've been, I've had like a smile on my face every day. Uh, I feel a lot happier. So it is uh, quite something to experience, definitely. Was there one thing that you think really kind of changed that journey in a positive direction for you that maybe could help someone else who's kind of also struggling with it? Is there anything that really sticks out? It was when I just kind of sat down um, with my girlfriend and just had that conversation with her. Like I mentioned before, kind of this is what I want to do, see it from my perspective. And she understood like how much it was just affecting me. Um, And there's no point just struggling on with it um, if it is going to just negatively affects my life like that and then just kind of leading on from that the aftermath of it and actually showing my bald head to the world and all the Mm. my friends and family and people close to me and hearing actually a lot of positive comments oh and i really suits you actually like you look glowing and uh, you know yeah it's just this, this thing you've been being up for your whole life and then you know just like that it's all gone about you know it might be a bit of a shock the first couple of days to people but then after that they're used to it i'm used to it i mean i got to admit looking in the mirror after i'd done it i was kind of like shocked a lot of the times like is that me it looks so yeah. weird but 
week later, literally a week later, I've accepted it now and I look in the mirror and feel like proud. Yeah, that's who I am. Really being positive after that moment. Started working out again as well. Um, and all of it does compound and to to this positive feeling, I think. So, yeah, I, I've not been this, like, well, I've not <laughs> felt this happy for a while. So, good, good. I am, I'm really I'm, I'm chuffed. Good. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's excellent. I'm really, I'm so happy to hear that, man. Really happy for you. And... Awesome. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks Thank a lot, you Harry. so much, man.